Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down the 20 actors who died too soon. Hey yo, this yours? Who? Who are you? For this list, we'll be remembering those celebrities who are particularly missed, actors who perhaps had more to give to the craft they loved. What are your memories of these performers? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Chris Farley Some actors just possess this larger-than-life presence, a charisma that permeates everything they do. Chris Farley was one of these people, a beloved comic actor whose work on Saturday Night Live would assist in transitioning him into a successful film career. You're using your paper not for writing, but for rolling doobies! <laughs> You're gonna be doing a lot of doobie rolling when you're living in a van down by the river! Farley just left Goodwill wherever he went, a funny man with the ability to connect on a personal level with his audience. Weight was always an issue in Farley's life, however, combined with a substance abuse disorder that mirrored Chris's idol, John Belushi. Everybody on? Good! Great! Grand! Wonderful! No yelling on the bus! It was an overdose of cocaine and morphine, combined with Farley's history of atherosclerosis, that ultimately cost the man his life on December 18, 1997. Number 19. John Candy John Candy was a mainstay of comedic cinema in the 1980s, a supremely likable and warm presence that burned brightly in classics like Spaceballs, Uncle Buck, and The Great Outdoors. That was quite a surprise. I mean, yeah, I, I, you got me. <laughs> and you, in the whole week you'll be here. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Candy wasn't just a foil for goofiness either, as the man also earned acting credits in horror films like The Clown Murders or thrillers like The Silent Partner. Stress and anxiety allegedly followed Candy throughout his personal and professional life, while his weight also fluctuated based on the actor's tendency to binge eat in response to these stressors. No, but here in your, you got a little bit of a dilemma there. We got a crisis ourselves. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Gus Polinski. How are you? Polka King of the Midwest. John Candy's death from a fatal heart attack on March 4, 1994, left a huge hole in the hearts of his fans, friends, and family. He was a truly unique talent. Number 18. Corey Haim The legacy of Corey Haim shouldn't solely be as a cautionary tale for child actors. But it's also important to recognize how early success was detrimental to the young man's life. Haim was a great actor, who perhaps never got to achieve his full potential despite standout performances in The Lost Boys, Lucas, and Silver Bullet. This is for the good guys. Corey was in and out of rehab over a dozen times throughout his life, and had a contentious relationship with his frequent partner in cinematic crime, Corey Feldman. Get on. I'll drive you home. No way, man. Look, I have a driver's exam to take Saturday. I don't want to get killed. Les, your license is just as important to me as it is to you. I'll take it easy. Haim also claimed he was a victim of abuse as a younger actor. Corey died on March 10, 2010, the result of multiple factors, including pneumonia. Number 17. Naya Rivera There have been a number of high-profile deaths behind the scenes of the Fox series Glee. Naya Rivera was a member of this tragic club, a young actress whose death came as a true shock to her fans. Rivera worked as an actor, musician, and activist over the course of her life, and enjoyed a career that started way back at the tender age of four. Naya was also a mother, a fact that made her loss all the more tragic. Her body was recovered from Lake Piru, California on July 13, 2020, after drowning five days before while swimming with her son. Naya and her four-year-old son Josie were alone that fateful day. That apparently made the difference between life and death. Number 16. Cameron Boyce Cameron Boyce didn't let epilepsy slow down his red-hot career as a Disney Channel star. 
The young actor appeared on shows like Jesse and in the Descendants franchise after cutting his teeth as a child actor on films like the 2008 horror flick Mirrors. Michael, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay, well, we gotta get going, all right? Okay. Boyce would continue to work for the Disney brand, taking lead roles on shows like Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Boyce died in his sleep on July 6, 2019, as a result of a seizure that occurred over the course of the night. He was only 20 years old. Somewhere between the last text he sent me in the morning, he was gone. It's not cliche to say, you never know. You never know. Number 15, Jane Mansfield. The life of Hollywood bombshell Jane Mansfield was many things, but it was never boring. I'm so happy. I knew it. I knew that this time it just had to be. It had to be true. Oh, Jeff, I'm so, I'm so happy for his darling. The sex symbol of the silver screen was associated with the Church of Satan, did the first nude scene of the modern post-silent film era, and was never far from the headlines or her legions of admirers. Mansfield was also an early Playboy playmate, appearing multiple times throughout the late 1950s and into the 60s. I'm just going to New York with my secretary to rest in seclusion. <laughs> seclusion, is that right? That's right. It means you want to be alone. <gasps> seclusion sounds so dirty. Well, it isn't. Mariska Hargitay's mom was an icon in life, but her death was tragic in equal measure. Jane Mansfield was killed on June 29, 1967, along with her driver and attorney, after the car they were in collided with a tractor trailer. Three of her children, including Mariska, were asleep in the back seat and survived with minor injuries. Number 14, Jonathan Brandis. It's difficult to know what's going on in someone's life, what they're going through, and how to help. This applies to celebrities just as much as the rest of us, but we as fans rarely have any insight behind the Hollywood curtain. Thanks for painting that picture for us. Listen, I hate to break up this little seminar, but I gotta go. Jonathan Brandis was a teen heartthrob, sure, but he was also a talented young actor. His work on television, Sequest DSV, was particularly popular, as was his performance as Bill Denbro in the 1990 iteration of Stephen King's It. You killed my brother George, you bastard! Let's see you now. Let's see you now. It's scared of us, you know? I can feel that. I, I swear to God, I can. I Unfortunately, Brandis' career was in something of a slump around the early 2000s, and he descended into heavy drinking. The actor would ultimately take his own life in November 2003. Number 13, Robin Williams. The saying, this one hurts, doesn't even begin to describe how fans of Robin Williams felt when the comic legend left this world on August 11, 2014. The man's resume speaks for itself, from his humble origins on Mork and Mindy to breakout, career-defining roles on Good Will Hunting, Mrs. Doubtfire, The Birdcage, and Jumanji. You think monkeys, mosquitoes, and lions are bad? That's just the beginning. I've seen things you've only seen in your nightmares. Elsewhere, Williams' stand-up work and his voice acting on classics like Aladdin endeared him to more fans around the world. Excuse me? Are you looking at me? Did you rub my lamp? Did you wake me up? Did you bring me here? And all of a sudden, you're walking out on me? I don't think so. Although the man is gone, his legacy lives forever, and his work continues to entertain and influence millions around the world. Number 12, Anton Yelchin. To discuss the loss of Anton Yelchin is to mourn what might have been. This is because the career of this promising actor seemed to be just hitting its stride before it was horribly cut short by a tragic accident. Yelchin had earned rave reviews for his ability to vacillate between blockbuster features like the Star Trek reboots and darker indie fares such as 2015's nail-biting thriller Green Room. We would rather wait for the police. He's fine. But he's gonna wait too. Anton could seemingly do it all, and fans can only wonder what the actor might have achieved on future projects. Yelchin was tragically crushed by his Jeep Grand Cherokee on June 19, 2016, while checking his mail. Police tell ABC News Yelchin got out of his 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee while pulling out of his steep driveway, the vehicle apparently rolling back fatally pinning him against this gate. A wrongful death lawsuit was filed against Fiat Chrysler by Anton's parents after his death, and was settled out of court. Number 11, 
Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy had a lot going for her before her untimely death on December 20th, 2009. She had broken out with some varied and engaging work after first making a name for herself with the 90s teen flick Clueless. You don't think that we mesh well. <laughs> I was like, why am I even listening to you to begin with? You're a virgin who can't drive. Murphy proved she could handle dramas like Girl Interrupted and 8 Mile. She also shined in horror films and thrillers like Cherry Falls and Don't Say a Word. The actress even managed to escape the world of rom-coms unscathed with Just Married, proving her versatility and dedication to her craft. Her death was shrouded in controversy, however, with disputes as to the actual nature of her demise contrasting the official record of pneumonia. Number 10. Paul Walker The Fast and Furious franchise may have continued on after the untimely death of its star Paul Walker, but it never forgot the legacy Walker lent to those early entries. Brian Earl Spilmer. Sounds like a serial killer name. Is that what you are? No, man. Don't come around here again. Hey man, you know this is bullshit. Walker's movie star good looks belied an acting talent that worked well within big budget action movie parameters. The man's presence loomed large not only in the Fast and Furious movies, but also in more underrated roles, such as Walker's work in the 2006 film Running Scared. All right, Nick, listen to me. I want you to think really hard about where your friend might be right now because the others are looking for him. And if they find him first, I'm. They won't find the gun. What did you say? Sadly, the world never got to see what Paul Walker might have done on future projects, as the actor was involved in a fatal car accident on November 30th, 2013. Number 9. Sharon Tate It's unfair to associate the legacy of Sharon Tate solely with that of the Manson family. This is not only due to the horrible crimes with which Manson and his gang were associated, but also Tate herself, who shone on the silver screen like the brightest burning star. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Not at all, not at all. I, I just don't know what to do with myself. I get so bored. You can't imagine how bored I get. The actress's beauty was undeniable, but it didn't define her, and Sharon Tate was equally adept at comedy as well as performances that required her to do her own stunts. She even trained with the legendary Bruce Lee while working on the spy picture The Wrecking Crew. Mr. Helm? Yes. Oh! Oh! oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm free. Welcome to Denmark, Mr. Helm. You always greet people like this? Sharon Tate may not have been able to achieve her full acting potential, but she'll always be remembered as an icon. Number 8. Marilyn Monroe the level of talent present within Marilyn Monroe could actually be compared to that of Sharon Tate, since both actresses employed great comedic timing to offset their striking beauty. Monroe's legacy today as a Hollywood icon is secure thanks to her legions of fans around the world. You kind of like that song, don't you, Mrs. Lewis? There isn't any other song. Still, it's the mysterious circumstances of her death and the pain of knowing what might have been that still haunt many of those same people. We'll never know whether or not Marilyn Monroe would have broken through even further from the movie parts that went on to define her career, such as Some Like It Hot and The Seven Year Itch. Ooh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? Her barbiturate overdose on August 4th, 1962 remains one of the most contested celebrity deaths of all time. Number 7. James Dean James Dean may be young and handsome forever, but this doesn't mean that his fans don't wish that the Hollywood legend could have achieved more throughout his too brief career. <laughs> you forgave him because you threw a ring of his worth $3,000 into the river. That's right. And you forgave him? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Dean was the epitome of teenage cool, a spirit of rebellion, and the refusal to compromise. For many, his role as Jim Stark in 1955's Rebel Without a Cause was a definitive one, a film that offered a more nuanced portrayal of teenage life. Every time you can't face yourself, you blame it on me. That is not true. You say it's because of me, you say it's because of the neighborhood. No, you use every other phony excuse. Mom, I just once, I want to do something right. Dean didn't need to fall back on his rugged good looks to overcompensate for any lack of acting ability, as the Academy Award-nominated thespian was able to emote with the best of his contemporaries. 
his car accident on September 30th, 1955, at only 24 years of age, robbed us of one of Hollywood's most promising talents. Number 6. Judith Barcy You may not remember Judith Barcy's Hollywood headshots, but the odds are fairly good that you'll recall her voice, especially if you grew up in the 80s. Stay with me. Anne-Marie! Huh? You asked my name, my name is Anne-Marie. Yeah, sure. This is because Barcy worked on two of the decade's more successful animated children's features, All Dogs Go to Heaven and The Land Before Time. Hello. I said hello. What is your name? <gasps> Maybe you cannot talk yet. Barcy started acting when she was young and never looked back, appearing on television and earning small roles in movies like Jaws the Revenge. Her home life was tragically fraught with mistreatment at the hands of her father, however, and it was this trauma that ultimately led to the demise of Barcy and both her parents in 1988. Number 5. Bruce Lee the career of Bruce Lee was poised to explode with commercial crossover success in 1973, thanks to the lightning rod that was his film Enter the Dragon. Sadly, Lee wouldn't live to witness just how much the world would embrace martial arts cinema in the wake of all his hard work, as the icon died of a cerebral edema on July 20th of that year. His son Brandon would pass under equally tragic circumstances while following in his famous father's footsteps. Lee's son died filming The Crow in 1993 due to human error and negligence with a prop gun. Uh, are you some kind of a ghost? Boo. Both Lees departed this world far too soon, but their fans will never forget the gifts Bruce and Brandon left behind. Number 4. River Phoenix River Phoenix seemingly had it all. Skill, charisma, good looks, and the will to make it as a star in Hollywood. It's like God gave you something, man. All those stories that you can make up. And he said, this is what we got for you, kid. Try not to lose it. But kids lose everything unless there's someone there to look out for them. The young actor and musician shined in breakout roles for films like Stand By Me and My Own Private Idaho. And who knows where River would have flowed were it not for the tragic events of Halloween night, 1993. I could love someone even if I, you know, wasn't paid for it. I love you and you don't pay me. Phoenix was at the Viper Room, a popular and trendy LA nightclub that hosted some of Hollywood's hottest young talent. River was supposed to perform in a band alongside Friends Flea and actor Johnny Depp when he complained of feeling unwell. Phoenix ultimately passed away from a speedball overdose, a deadly mixture of cocaine and heroin. Number 3. Heather O'Rourke It's always horrible to hear about the passing of a child actor, never mind one as beloved as Heather O'Rourke. The charming young actress rose to prominence on the heels of a career-defining performance as Carol Ann in the Poltergeist franchise. But O'Rourke also earned praise for her work on sitcoms like Happy Days and Webster. Webster, do you know what embarrassed means? Of course I do. I wasn't born under a rock. O'Rourke fell ill with intestinal issues in 1987 after contracting giardiasis from infected well water at her home. This, combined with her diagnosed Crohn's disease, led to the actress fatally succumbing to congenital stenosis and septic shock on January 31, 1988. Heather O'Rourke was only 12 years old. Number 2. Chadwick Boseman It wasn't only fans of the MCU that mourned the passing of Chadwick Boseman in 2020. This is because the actor wasn't remembered only for his role as Wakanda's ruler, Black Panther, but for the entirety of his two short filmography. Don't change. Did I say change the part? What's wrong? You lost your soul? You lost your feeling? No, sir. I ain't lost no feeling. Bozeman was a true talent, and it seemed that the sky was the limit for what was almost sure to be a thriving and varied career. Bozeman could handle intense roles in both drama and action with ease, bringing the same charisma to the screen that he brought with Black Panther. My king. Stop it. Stop it. 
fans were excited to see what was on the horizon. Sadly, his four-year fight with colon cancer came to an end on August 28, 2020. Before we name our number one pick, here are some much-missed honorable mentions. John Ritter, a master of physical comedy. Natalie Wood, a sudden and mysterious death. Empty your head. Empty my head? Okay. Relax. Rebecca Schaefer, her loss led to legislation targeting celebrity stalking. I feel myself changing already. I know now my whole life has been a preparation for this journey. Corey Monteith, a promising career cut short. Dana Plato, a sad ending to a troubled life. Hi there. Hi. Hi, metal mouth. <laughs> Daddy, isn't this delicious? We've just met and already he's insulting me like a real brother. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Heath Ledger There was even more to Heath Ledger than his iconic portrayal of the Joker in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I don't, don't want to kill you! What would I do without you? The talented Aussie actor had already turned heads, with star-making performances in films like A Knight's Tale, Ned Kelly, and Brokeback Mountain. With the Joker seemingly serving as just another step in Ledger's impressive evolution as an actor, Ledger dealt with his own personal demons, however, including insomnia, and it wasn't long before substance abuse disorder became an issue in the young man's life. Heath Ledger died on January 22, 2008, as a result of an acute combined drug intoxication of prescription medication. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. 